Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 30 second tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about the address of operator. Now the address of operator gets us the address of a variable in memory, right? And uh, since the address is a numeric value, to print it on screen you have to use the percentage D format specifier. Now I don't have much to talk about the address of operator but since it is a very 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 important operator and uh, since uh, you know, we would be using it a lot in this course. I thought of discussing it separately in a tutorial. So this tutorial is going to be very short and simple. And uh, all I'm going to do is uh, declare a variable, give it a value, and then use the address of operator to show the address of the variable in the memory on screen, right? And uh, we've seen how the address of operator works uh, earlier when we discussed scanf. I did tell you a little bit about it. And uh, when we will discuss pointers, uh, maybe, I'll tell you a few more things about address of operator in case I miss something in this tutorial. But uh, for the time being, we're just going to see how the address of a variable is returned using the address of operator. So I'm going to declare an integer variable and uh, I'll call it x. I'll give it a value 5. And uh, on the next line, I'll, by the way, I've saved this file in uh, memory. I've given it the name address underscore of underscore operator dot c. On line one in this file, I have my header file. On line two, I have the main function. In between the braces, of course, I'm going to type in the code. And uh, through printf, I'll first uh, display the value of x on screen. So value of x is, and uh, I'll put a colon, give a space, and then percentage d format specify because x is an integer and it has the value five, which is a numeric value. So even to display that, you have to use the percentage D format specifier. After the comma, you have to just type in X, right? Because we are just going to display the value that's stored in the variable and we're not displaying the address on this statement. So I'll put in a semicolon to terminate this statement. On the next line, I'm going to type in printf again. And uh, let me put in a new line escape sequence so that whatever follows uh, gets printed on a fresh line. And then I'll type in address of the variable in memory is I put a colon here and then a space. I put the percentage D format specifier. After the comma symbol, I'll type in the ampersand symbol first and then type in the name of the variable which is x. So the address of operator is just the ampersand symbol, right? And uh, it is the same as the bitwise and operator, but uh, it's got entirely different meaning. It just takes in one operand, that is the um, variable, the address of which um, is to be returned. And I'll put in a semicolon to terminate this statement, save the file. When I click on build and run, you see that on line one, I have value of x is 5 on line 2 i have address of the variable in memory is 2686748 and even if i change the value of x you would see that the address would remain the same so if i change the value of x from 5 to 55 if i save the file if i click on build and run you'll see that the value of x is updated but the address remains the same so the compiler arranges space for the variable in the memory and even if you make changes to the value of the variable in the memory, the address remains the same, right? So space, once allocated, has a fixed address and that value never changes, right? So that's it in this tutorial. This is all what I wanted to discuss. In the next tutorial, we'll discuss something interesting and important again. So thank you so much for watching this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. And please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already. See you soon.